Good morning everyone, today I'm sharing with you five more secrets to get sharp shots. Let's go! All right guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I want to share with you my five other secrets to actually get sharp shots. Now you guys loved the previous video where I talked about autofocus to get the sharper shot possible. Now I think a lot of you mentioned something which is shutter speed and I totally agree with you, we need to talk about it. Some of you might be already advanced, but I think number five is going to be very interesting. It's kind of a technique, a tip, hack, a function also. Don't miss it. So super simple, I'm gonna be sharing my five secrets that I use for finding the right shutter speed and getting super sharp shots. You see the mountain behind me? My goal for number five guys is going to be at the top. So let's start with number one. All right guys, number one, secret number one, and obviously guys, all of those are not like pure secrets. Um, I didn't invent them, but I love to learn with something exciting like calling stuff secrets. So number one is simply that your shutter speed should be, should be, should be, should be depending on your lens. It simply means that when you're shooting at the longer lens, a longer focal, for example, 200 millimeter, whenever you have a little bit of movement on your camera at 200 millimeter, it's gonna look like you're on a freaking boat in the storm, I'm telling you. So you wanna have a faster shutter speed with longer lenses. The rule of thumb that I heard and that I apply is kind of one over the focal length. So for example, 200 millimeter, you wanna have a minimum shutter speed of one 200th of a second etc. That's why with wide angles you can actually shoot at very slow shutter speeds and see very little camera shake movements and have very sharp shots. It's super practical and uh, yeah just think about it when you're shooting what kind of lens are you using to get the best result in terms of sharpness. All right number two guys is simply a rule of thumb. Whenever you're shooting people and for example they're static you're doing a portrait my rule is simply to shoot at 125th of a second. The reason 125th is that you might have a little bit of movement in the head of people, they might be laughing and all that. You really want to make sure they're sharp. So one 120th of a second is a great number in my opinion. Now if the people move a lot, and that happens a lot, when everyone's really laughing hard, well then you might be using 1 250th of a second. Now, I know rules are meant to be broken, so if you're at night, for example, and you have a good model, you can ask her, can you please like stay super still, and then you can go down 1 50th of a second as an example. So that's when you're shooting people static, but what if you're shooting people moving? Let's talk about it. All right, number three, guys, is simply action. I think that's where we get a lot of mistakes, where your shots are most likely to be unsharp, kind of blurry. So the reason is that when there is action, you want to have a really fast shutter speed. So for example, the other day, we were on top of that mountain in the Alps, absolutely incredible sunset, and I'm shooting one of the creators, uh, Julien, who has been jumping with the sunset. It just looks super epic. I just love that shot. But in order to get that shot sharp and for him not to be blurry when he's jumping, you have to go at a very high shutter speed. So rule of thumb is that if someone's walking, you might shoot at 1 320th of a second. And if someone's running, you start at 1 500th of a second and up, which means you might be shooting at 1 500, 1 800, 1 1000th. And the higher you can go, the better it is. Obviously, there's always a compromise between shutter speed, ISO and aperture and all that. You guys might know it, so you want to stay within the normal good range where your shots are not going to be too noisy, but you're going to have a fast shutter speed to freeze that action, and that's when it gets so beautiful. Hey guys, step three. We're pretty high now. Still two to go. I think we're going to make it. Woohoo! Hopla! Number four, guys, is actually how do you get good shots when you're handheld? And this is my tip, this is my trick. Whenever you're shooting handheld and you want to have really slow shutter speeds but you don't have a tripod because a lot of people will be like use a tripod and all that. Guys, I hate carrying tripods so you'll hardly ever see me with a tripod unless I'm doing super long exposure. That's when it gets practical but I just don't like having them with me. Uh, as you can see, no tripod. The only thing is my little Joby. That's all. All right. So if you want to be super sharp whenever you're taking photos, uh, sorry, super sharp. If you don't want to be shaking, if you don't want to be blurry, the trick is bring your shoulders super close to your body like that. You have your camera. 
then breathe in and don't move and that's it and you take the shot you hold your breath crack and that's it you want to be as compact as possible and you want to really control your breath just like the snipers the shooters in the army they're controlling their breath they're inhaling and then boom they're shooting because any vibration is gonna make them miss their target same for a photo any vibration is gonna make you have a blurry image and you know if you've watched some of the other tutorials that I really love to shoot at very slow shutter speed sometimes even handheld uh, obviously if you have a camera that has in-body stabilization and a lens that has stabilization also it helps a lot I go down to a uh, quarter of a second and even 0.4 seconds and I still shoot handheld so that's how I get the waterfall shots that are very beautiful in my opinion where you get the stream of water in one continuous line or the shots where the crowd is actually uh, moving all around the subject for example Trina and the subways that's how I get those shots super close to me hold my breath boom hit the shutter and yeah that's that's all that's that's how I get it and, and, and guys I want to give you a little heads up I have a photo in my head that I really want to shoot in Paris and I think I might be using that to shoot it but that's gonna be for another episode let's uh, let's get to number five okay Woohoo! all right guys number five is actually my favorite oh god there's water my favorite thing in the world most cameras have maybe not all of them but that's simply something I cannot live without I literally check before I buy a camera if it has that function or not you guys might know what it is I talked about it in like two three videos but really want to nail the hammer on the head or nail the or hammer the nail on the head this time with it it's minimum shutter speed ISO minimum shutter speed whatever your camera calls it it is simply a function that allows your camera to never go below a certain shutter speed super practical let me tell you why you might be shooting in aperture priority or in auto or in p mode or whatever you want to be using and guess what happens sometimes your camera is going to drag the shutter a lot in order to have a decent ISO number and have a decent exposure but the problem is that you might want to have a super sharp shot even if the ISO is going to be a bit higher and that's why the minimum shutter speed comes super handy you basically tell the camera do not shoot below 1 250 of a second and the camera will change everything possible but will not go below 1 250 of a second and the good thing it's like it's a minimum limit which means it will go above no problem but it won't go below so for example if you're shooting an aperture priority you're outside so then you go inside you forget to change your shutter speed all that you take a photo you won't get a blurry shot and that's the magic about it guys if you don't know what it is grab your camera right now check if you have that mode it is so 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 practical you cannot live without it let me tell you it changed my life today I discovered it because I, I love to shoot an aperture priority for example just super practical quick tip when I'm outside daytime 1 250 of a 1 500 if I'm trying to shoot action and when I'm inside or when it gets darker 1 120 of a second whenever I know that people are gonna be moving or there will be movement in my shots woohoo guys we didn't make it exactly to the top but I think that leaves us sometimes for a bonus oh yeah let's go and here we go guys so we are at the top and apparently there is a spring inside the rock over there we're gonna go check it out but my little bonus is simply if you can nowadays there are a lot of cameras that have in body stabilization so if you ever need to change please get one camera like that you will see it will make a big difference because you can literally shoot at really slow shutter speeds same goes for your lenses if they're stabilized it makes it a little bit better but sincerely I saw a huge difference with in body stabilization for cameras and not just so much for lenses uh, the GH5 being the craziest I've seen in terms of stabilization I could shoot to two seconds handheld I think I shot one in New York it was crazy anyway with that being said guys I hope this has been helpful for you I'm gonna go explore that cave maybe get a little bit of photos I don't know what we're doing here but it's just so pretty uh, for some reason it never comes out really well on pictures those places eh. Go figure you never know why I just wanted to let you know if you guys think oh I already knew all that 
Well, that's cool, but I want the whole community to get awesome photos and be at the same level so that when we continue together this adventure, you guys progress with me and we get better and better shots all together. Oh yeah. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit the SUB CRB button. Ring that notification bell. It's going to make a huge song. It's going to be awesome. And, and, and I will see you in the next episode. Get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. And guys, whoo. Remember, come listen to the podcast. I forgot to ask you. Come listen. It's pretty good. See you. Bye. Your shutter speed should be... Whoa, you guys almost fell.